All right, moving along to step number two, the backend or server. So we're gonna create the server here in our app.js file. I'm gonna write a comment on top of every line of code. That way you can see what everything is doing. So we're gonna bring in the required packages. These are the packages that we installed in the last video. All right, the first one is gonna be the express package. Right, now let's bring in the node fetch package. And the dot env package. All right now let's create the express server. And now we have to indicate the server port number. So let's create a variable. And the server is either going to run on process.env port or on port 3000. So when we deploy this to Heroku, it's going to run on this port. And when we run it locally, it's going to run on port 3000. All right, now we're going to start the server. So let's create a function here that is going to output a console log message. And this is going to say server started on port. And then we're going to pass it the variable. All right. So we just created the server. Now let's actually run the application. So we're going to run it by doing npm run dev down here on our terminal. Click enter. And if it was successful, you should see a message that says server started on port 3000. All right, let's go under here. And remember, we're going to be using EJS as our template engine so we can use JavaScript within our HTML file. So we have to indicate that that's going to be our view engine. So we're going to tap in set template engine. All right, to set it as our template engine, we're going to use app set view engine and then ejs and to be able to access this public folder here which has our front end we're going to use app use express static and then public all right so when the user enters their video id for the video that they want to turn into an mp3 we're going to grab that data from the front end over here on the back end. But to be able to process that data here on the back end, we have to include this piece of code here. So this is needed to parse HTML data for post request. All right. And then we're going to do app use express URL encoded. And in here we have to add extended true and another line of code that we need together with that is app use express dot json all right now we need to create our routes so we're going to start with the get route and this is just going to send the user our index.ejs file So for now, we're just going to send the user a message. Hello world. We don't actually have our index.ejs file ready yet. So this is what we're going to send for now. Now we can actually open up our browser, go over to port 3000. And you're going to see the message. Hello world there. All right, let's copy that. 
and this is going to be the post route so we're not going to complete this one yet because we don't have our front end yet once we have the front end we can take that information and be able to complete these two routes for now we're going to leave them like this and that's going to be it for part number two